Insights, back with another Magnus Answers. Yes, I've once again descended from the throne of thought to answer your question. Now this one's kind of interesting. This one uh, was sent to me on my Facebook fan, uh, fan page. And um, it's about a breakup. And uh, as usual with breakups and certain, a lot of these stories, I mean, they're one-sided. And I'm going to take this from this person's side as if everything is true, okay? Um, I know stories can be biased, but I'm going to give some feedback into this, all right? So, she writes, So I met this nice guy online last year. We were talking. He lives in Detroit and seems to be pretty wealthy. Great businessman. And I was attracted to him. Uh, he contacted me first, so we began talking on the phone. And at some point, I was going to fly out there to visit him, or he was going to come out to Tampa to visit. After a little while, I noticed that the phone calls uh, weren't as frequent, and that was okay, because I know he's very busy. And I just try to keep the lines of communication open. And we would chat here and there, and I was cool with that. So finally, found I found time uh, to get away, and I sent him time and the flights and the dates to see if that was okay with him. It took him a little while to get back to me. And finally, when he did, he told me he met another woman on the dating site and was connecting with her and really liked her and thought I was beautiful, but did not want to hurt my feelings. And that was it. I was a little bit upset because I never really got to meet him in person and knew if we did, it would be pretty good. To make a long story short, I asked him if we could speak on the phone about the whole thing and basically he let the new girl communicate with me and tell me to let it go and beat it. He belongs to me now and I was completely appalled, she said, that this man allowed this new girl to end this relationship I had with him. I totally get that uh, we may have he may have lost interest in me and I get get that but I just think that the way he handled this closure was completely wrong and letting this woman talk to me and tell me that he belongs to her now and to let it go just wrong on so many levels I did not deserve this type of closure yeah um let me tell you something first off when you're in the dating scene just so you know dating sites and you know you know so you know people are talking to multiple different people and if you kind of really starting to like somebody never ever ever in a relationship say to a person well or, or you try to give that idea that hey wait a minute don't go with her yet because if we hang out hey it'll be great and you know I know you'll like me let me tell you something I'm a man if and coming from a man's point of view, if he met somebody that he thinks is that much of a better fit for him than you, that he doesn't want you to fly in, he don't want to come see you, he just wants to end it, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. It's, it's not a competition. Don't ever compete um, with another woman for man's love. Just so you know, don't do it. Because if he's feeling her more, fuck it. If he really, really felt you were best for him, as much as that may hurt, you know what I mean? And I get it. Ain't nothing you can do about it but move on. Now, to how he did it, let's talk about that. If I were him, the only way the absolute, see, because I would have handled it myself. I would have told you, listen, I met this new girl. You're great. You're beautiful. But I think that she's a much better fit for me. You know, and I wish you the best of luck. Maybe we can stay friends or whatever. If not, I understand. But he did not do that from your story that you told me. If he did, then that's different. But if he did not do that and, you know, he puts this girl on the phone to talk. I mean, that's wild right there. I had a bitch do that to me in the past. 
I was calling her because I knew something was up. She had been avoiding me. So one day I decided, now I was harassing her. I decided, bitch, you don't want to answer my phone calls. I ain't talked to you in like a week. And this was my girlfriend. So I called like 19 times in a row. Cause I said, somebody's going to fucking answer and tell me what the fuck the bitch is doing. This was back when I was like 22. And her friend answered. Her friend answered. Actually... She had answered first and gave me this convoluted, cloudy type, you know, fucking decision. Like, she wouldn't tell me what was up. I knew she was hiding something. So her friend finally got on the phone and was like, yeah, she wants to end it. And this and that hung up on me. And I was like, all right, so you're going to get your friend to end it with me because you couldn't even do it your fucking self. Well, that's what I'm talking about. The only way that I would have let another woman get on the phone and tell you that it's over is if you were harassing him. I don't get that idea from this, but if you were, then that is actually one of the best ways to cut something because you're in that weird position of talking to some woman that you don't know saying this is mine leave him the fuck alone but i wouldn't have did it that way i feel he was wrong if you were not harassing him he was definitely wrong for doing that like that he could have just got on the phone and said you know and explained it you know now i don't know you i don't you know you seem like you cool I, i've you know read a few of you you know, your comments and stuff. You know, sometimes people can be very clingy. I'm not saying that's you. In a clingy situation, I could see somebody doing that, putting a friend on the phone or putting somebody else on the phone. In my situation, I wasn't being clingy. I wanted an answer. And I was, I knew something was up. It was about over anyway. But I said, no, bitch, you're going to tell me yourself. You know what I mean? You're going to say something to me. You know what I mean? I'm not going to let you just give me some crazy convoluted answer and then just walk off. Now, nah, I want to hear from the fucking horse's mouth. So, you know, and then, actually I heard it from a different horse's mouth. <laughs> and she, I tell you this, she paid for it. She got hers. She got hers and it wasn't even me. It wasn't even me. So don't worry about it. If people have it in their heart to hurt you, you have to understand that life is going to pay them back for hurting you in some form or fashion. It's that boomerang's going to come right fuck back around, tsh, smack them in their fucking face. So don't worry about it, okay? You keep doing you, you keep meeting new men, and you'll eventually find the love of your life. As long as you stay positive and you believe that it's going to happen. All right? All right, so. Done with this, Magnus Answers. Anybody else need some questions answered? Make sure you shoot an email to the inbox. Oh, my subscribers! Woo!